see hello everyone I'm here to represent about the three address code as we all know about this it will be the intermediate representation and uh, it is it can have at most three operands and this is the main point and as we know we have uh, the equation when we'll be having the equation will be having only two parts the first one is the LHS one and the second one is the RHS one so inside the LHS we can write only the target and the RHS we can has at most two source and one operator this is the introduction of to see the target equation so what is the equation of T2 T2 equation is A plus T1 and T4 equation is D divided by 3 so which is having high precedence obviously divide is having high precedence and plus is having lower precedence so we have written a plus star and like this only b star c at last b star c this is our normal syntax tree after that uh, we'll we are discussing about the types of our three address code it's nothing but an assignment operator where we are using op operand means it's binary operation if we are writing op in between two source then it is binary and if we are writing at the starting or at the last then it is unary operation copy is simple normal uh, equation x is equal to y jump we are having first jump go to l that is unconditional jump if t go to l that is the conditional jump that if our condition is true then only you have to go to L and the third one is relational operator means condition plus relational operator now we are discussing about the parsers <coughs> so let us know what is parser first we need to discuss about the parser so what is parser and what are the types of parser and what are the conditions for pursuing the parser so the first thing for parser is parser is having two types first is top down and the other one is uh, bottom up so we are discussing here preliminary steps for parsers that means the our parser should our parser should unambiguous see uh, we have the shown in the diagram a grammar can have three types the first one is ambiguous unambiguous the second one is she, uh, it will be having LR shifting or RR LR, LR recursive like LMD and RMD and the third one is deterministic or non-deterministic so for parser what we need for parser we need unambiguous grammar right recursive and for parser what we don't need for parser we don't need ambiguous grammar left recursion and non-deterministic we don't want non-deterministic means left recursive see uh, that uh, we will discuss later first we will discuss about the left recursion how we are removing left recursion so uh, whenever we are having a production like A gives A alpha oblique beta that means the grammar the production which is given is having a left recursion so the formula is A gives beta A dash and A dash gives alpha A dash epsilon let's take an example the example is E gives E plus T oblique T so by applying formula what we are doing we are uh, first we need to check whether it this production is having left recursion or not so we checked e is equal to e plus t and we checked the formula a gives a alpha b so it's matching that means that means it is having left recursion so for parser we need to remove this so by applying formula what we got we got e gives L beta a dash so what is beta beta is nothing 
but t so we have written t e dash and after that epsilon and alpha a dash so what is alpha uh, uh, excluding a dash everything is alpha Ex excluding a sorry i made a mistake excluding a everything is alpha so if we'll remove a like e we are removing in the according to the example the a our a is e and the alpha is plus t so like this we removed and we removed the left recursion after this what we are doing is we are removing ambiguity so first we need to know what is an ambiguous grammar means how can we say that a grammar with some production is ambiguous so a grammar that produces more than one parse tree for some sentence is said to be ambiguous it's very simple definition after that let's take an example if we are taking s gives a s s a and a and the string for which we are uh, pursuing the string is double a so after that <coughs> sorry left most derivative we have written in the left hand side as gives a s and then after that s is expanding we are we are expanding s to a and after that right hand side we are taking right most derivative sorry I made a mistake in the left hand side we have written right most derivative and then in the uh, right side we have written left most derivative so see we are getting the strings at the bottom AA from the both parse tree but we can have more than one we are having more than one we are getting more than one parse tree so it is an ambiguous grammar now how I am explaining you again we are taking left most derivative see by applying recursion we are getting the perfect tree 